Hey guys! All right, y'all, we got a big video. I am so excited. Okay, I got some dresses to show you guys from all over the place. Some things that um, that I want to show you before they sell out. The best crochet dress ever. This dress, which is amazing. Just a few things to grab for spring. I know we get overwhelmed with all these big hauls and oh my gosh, all these looks and stuff. And it's just like these, I think, if you grab just a few, you'll really freshen up your wardrobe. It'll be real nice. Next week, we're going to do a more like fashion heavy video because I feel like we've been kind of leaning into beauty lately, including in this video because we're going to hit the drugstore affordable makeup hard okay i've got so many new finds not the ones i mean a few things um this isn't just being redundant from my walmart reel that i posted on my instagram i did a get ready with me all with um like beauty products from walmart this is different this isn't sponsored or anything i just really enjoyed the feedback that i got from that in that not like oh i like it but of course, that's nice, but more so hearing from people in DMs asking me more questions about things or saying, I really appreciated that you did this because, you know, money's tight and, and this is what I can afford. I get that. This is my job. I've always splurged on more expensive things. I try different things and I always say, you know, if something's real good and it's expensive and that's what I'm truly using, I can lie to you and say that I'm using this. Let me do a curate a drugstore video to pretend like I'm using things that I'm not using. That ain't what we do, okay? Even when I do a sponsored video where obviously the stuff that I showed from Walmart were things that I chose and picked out from Walmart. Some things were my old favorites. I discovered some new things that are amazing. I don't show nothing that I don't like, okay? Happened to all be from Walmart. It was all great. But naturally the way I live, the way I, the way I live, the way I like dress, the way I do beauty, I will never put myself in a box where I'm like, you know, I'm only going to use high end things. I'm only going to wear a designer outfit. I'm only going to do this. Like no heck no. Like that's not how I was raised. That's not how I am an adult. That's not how I live my life. I get what I like. And of course you think, oh, well, it's nice to get expensive things. If you could, well, yeah, but I mix that in. I'm not splurging and blowing it out, even if I had all the money in the world. And I feel like that's kind of why, you know, I am very within my means on a lot of things. I'm not always after a new place to live that's trendy. I'm not always after, you know, I've, I'm, I'm after retiring early. I'm after saving money. I'm after being smart. And um, I think that being in the mindset of, not feeling like you always have to shop a certain brand or do something, whatever. And knowing that there are great things everywhere, you just have to be savvy and know how to find them. Um, and not even like, oh, well, money's tight, so I'm just going to use drugstore. Or, wow, I can really blow it out. I'm just going to get expensive things. That's not really ever how I've been. I just use what I like. And naturally, this is my point, it is going to be a mix of both. And like I said, I've never wanted to do curated, like, drugstore video just to get clicks and then show a bunch of things I just randomly picked up that isn't what I'm normally using. These are old favorites. These are things I have used for months that weren't a part of that Walmart video that I have not shown. Tanning. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I'm tanning um, and, and just kind of do this in a fun way. This dress, you got to get it. What's it doing? Okay. It is, it has like a little rubber line at the top so it is so secure you can move you can shake i'm wearing a medium okay so i would say i would say medium is truly my true size in a lot of things but i would say get your true size or size up but the medium really is nice um throw a jacket over this throw any it, but it's just one of those easy things it's got a little slit in the back so you're not like um but really really good grab this and like i said before we get into the makeup time me we're gonna do this in one minute okay because I do not want this to be a fashion video, but I do want you guys to grab these things before they sell out. And I might talk about this in next week's video too with spring clothes. I bought this dress from Abercrombie in January when I did an Abercrombie video. And I think I tried it on in the video. By the time I posted the video, um, it was in stock. Within, I think, 30 minutes of posting the video, it was sold out. And I don't think it was in another color. Now they have it in black as well, like a reverse. This is really nice too. It's back in stock. I grabbed this recently. This is like a swim cover up. Um, I'll put a little clip in here of me wearing this. 
All right, so here is the little cover-up dress. Um, it has like elastic in the back, you know, so just kind of you pull it over. It's so, so easy. So, so cute. Oh my gosh. Perfect swim cover-up, but just so good for like, you know, vacation. This we talked about. I, y'all, if you didn't get this dress, I don't even know. I think it's about 60 bucks. Real good for a dress of this quality. I literally, I just ordered it in like a moss color. It's got a really beautiful like side slit and um, nice dress, okay? Real cute. And this dress. This is a Skims dress. Do not go and just Google Skims dresses that are tank tops. People always say, well, what brand is that brand? I'm like, what's Skims? Or, oh, it's on Amazon. Well, good luck finding it. There's like a million of them that are the same one. Um, I don't know the exact name of this, but I will link to it. There are two different versions of this dress, different materials. Um, even one that is ribbed like this that does not have the slit that is also by Skims that is not as good. I bought that one as well. So, I don't know. I just felt kind of like I couldn't get through this video without kind of sharing that. For all of the beauty products, you're going to notice um, with the shades and everything, I'm going to link below to one post. It's going to say all makeup, like the beauty products. Um, and when you tap that, it's going to have every single link and every single shade of everything I'm talking about, exact product names, all of that. It just makes it easier. And um, it, the links are exactly the same as the normal links that I post below. It's going the same way. It's just all in a nice organized like just one link where you just click it and then everything's in that link if that makes sense um so that's below and then all the color details if you're like what's your shade in this or that that's going to be there too okay and then my makeup mirror this is so shameful okay i'm gonna do a post below okay again like i've linked to all these other things in one post it's gonna say makeup mirror and when you click it there's gonna be a video of me literally zooming in showing you the features of the staying makeup mirror this thing is like from the future i kept my little close-up one but i don't even think i need it um y'all know i have been struggling not struggling because let's just not be dramatic um but i bought this one from amazon that was like round didn't put out any light um like, like a big one to sit like behind everything. You know, like I still have this one that I use close up. It don't light up half the time. And when it does light up, I'll come in here in the middle of the night and the thing will be on full speed. I'm like, it wouldn't work for me this morning. These simple human makeup mirrors are so expensive and they're honestly, sorry, but they're a crock of, you know what? Um, sorry about that. I mean, I, I, I have no shame in saying that because I bought like four of them over the years. So you're welcome. So I'm not like bashing this brand, okay? I fully linked to them, love them, and they're fine. But um, ignore all my mess. But this thing, incredible. Touch screen, um, you know, oh, that's the dim. You can hold that P button and it'll dim. And it'll, this is as bright as it goes. Um, warm to cool to kind of a neutral, which is what I like. And it's not ugly it doesn't stick out so much i used to have that one that was called oh gosh that vanity what was it called you know the big one that everybody always had i had that years ago that thing was a beast it literally took up half of this and there's so much dead space behind it this is amazing the lights are led they're cool it has like a charger for your phone it's the best makeup mirror ever and it's so great for the price okay um amazing like the same size as the one I remember I spent like hundreds of dollars for that big professional looking one years ago that didn't even put out as much as light, light as this one. It had those hot bulbs that you have to replace. And this one is like a fraction of that, okay? Amazing, so grab that. Before we get into the makeup, let me talk about the tanners that I've been using. Um, this time of year, you know, I, I've always, naturally I can get a good tan, but um, you know, obviously, I t I, this time of year going into the season I always use a little bit of something and self tanner usually isn't my favorite I mean for years I've talked about ones that I like I've shown them but it's just not like I'm not like an all the time self tanner person I'm kind of leaning into that every morning I've been using this this is like the oldest school product I remember using this in high school like the first iterations I always 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 get the medium to deep you might think you know oh well now you know I've got this is completely all, nothing natural, it's just all fake tan. Um, you might say, oh, well you would be medium to deep, but my natural skin tone is pretty fair. If I ever use a self tanner product from any brand that's like a light or a light medium or a fair, it looks a little too yellowy. And whereas I feel that of course all self tanners are gonna have a little bit of a tinge of a little bit of an orange or a brown, 
um, in an okay way. If I go medium to deep, I feel, especially with a more gradual product, this is not that strong. Just go for the shade darker than you think you are. It gets some more like brown effect and um, like a more brownish tone rather than a yellow tone. And I've been using this. I love the scent of this. Um, of course, no self tanners magic. Later in the day, it is going to be a little bit, hmm, take a shower before you go to bed, you'll be fine. Um, I don't wash my hair every day. I pin my hair up, but I always take a shower every night. But once a week, a couple times a week, sometimes, I, I use this and I really love it. So about like, yeah, I'd say like we eat dinner or whatever, you know, I'd say maybe even like before dinner if we'd be at home or whatever. Around five o'clock, okay, I, I go into my tan mode if I'm going to do this. I get my tan outfit, which is like a pair of old ratty shorts and an old ratty tank top. And I come up here and I do this and I always use the one that says two hour express. They have the regular foam, but the two hour express I think is what you want. It's tinted formula, um, so you can see where you're putting it. It's not super smelly. This is the medium shade, um, and I really, really love it. Natural olive color. That's The tone of this self-tanner is unmatched by anything. And sometimes I use the Jergens in the morning, and then I layer this up. You know, mm -hmm. But anyways, use it at 5 o'clock. Okay, this is what you do. Put it on the mitt. I mean, come on. Like I've showed videos, of, but it is tinted, okay? So you're just going to... Rub it in. You'll see the streaks. You'll see the problems. Okay. Um, really pay attention here and then on the back of my legs. That's where I always sometimes I'm like, oops, really go to town and be aggressive like with the ribbon. Um, but I find that, you know, people say, oh, do you exfoliate first? Do you moisturize? I like I said, a shower every day. I'm washing. I'm doing all the things. But if I'm using this in the afternoon, I'm on my normal schedule of like showering and moisturizing. And by that, that morning, I've already moisturized my whole body with this. So usually I don't feel like I have to do anything extra. How are my elbows looking? Oh, they don't look bad. Um, okay, it's just is what it is, you guys. When you self-tan, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. But the color is perfect. So the color is going to develop over like a couple hours, but you're going to be kind of tinted. So you don't be rolling around on your white furniture, do anything crazy, but just, you know, wear your junky tanning outfit for, you know, a couple hours. And then you get in the shower and it rinses off the guide color and your tan has developed. So... That's what I've been doing. Um, I just wanted to kind of address that. But this is my little secret. I have a white robe. I mean, I love my white robes. and But this one, this is the robe that I talked about a couple years ago, I think like in a Walmart like holiday video. And I bought these for so many people for Christmas gifts. This is the best robe. But this color is like naturally perfect for like if you did put on self tanner or like those minutes when in the morning this is like my morning robe like i get on I get up and i put on my my white one that's like by my bed but then after i come up do my thing wash my face put on my this put on my um the natural glow stuff you wait like maybe two you don't instantly put your clothes on you wait a couple minutes but you know i wait a few minutes and then i put this robe on while i do my makeup and that way like it really Make sure the color sinks in. It doesn't rub off on clothes. And then by the time I get dressed, it's good. Um, so I just love this room. <laughs> I'll link to that. So let's get into some things. Um, I want to say, you know, okay, I, I splurge on body products every now and then. You guys have got the best, like, foundations. We'll talk about all that, okay? Because um, in that reel, I didn't really get to focus in on a lot of things. But let me just hit this real quick since we were talking about body stuff, tanning. Let's hit the body stuff first. Um, you know, I splurge on expensive lotions, body butters every now and then, but if I did that all the time, I would be like, that, that's just silly, okay? My husband's using moisturizer, I'm using moisturizer, like, I'm need, you know, you need to have something at the grocery store or at the drugstore or at like a Walmart or a Target that you know is like something that you can just grab. This Cetaphil moisturizing cream, it's says very dry to sensitive skin. Um, hydrates for 48 hours, fully restores skin barrier. It's not comedogenic, so I guess you could, I mean, I was using this on my neck. I, mean, I guess, you know, you could use it on your face. I don't know, I wouldn't. But it's real, real thick. It's made for your body. I slather this stuff all over. It's very thick and great. But this is just our go-to. It is not heavily scented. I just love a good product that's not heavily scented. This is always like on Brad's side. He uses it. I use it. Sometimes, again, I use my, you know, my frilly moisturizer or my body cream that's a little fancy. But You've got to have like just the one that's a go-to all the time, you know, because you're not using the fancy. I'm not using the fancy stuff every day, but this is so good. The Vaseline Advanced Repair, 
um, unscented. I was gonna say, it doesn't really have a scent. It's unscented, which I love because, and then this is the find of like, find of the year, maybe. I post this on my LTK. Some of you guys snatched this up, but I'm always like, I have a dry neck. And I think even if you don't, it's a good idea to obviously take care of that area. Like I said, I'll be 40 soon. I think that it's looking good. I really just am all about moisturizing. And what I do is like, if I get sent a product or if I buy a product that might be too heavy or I get samples of like that real heavy face cream that you'd never really want to put on your face, some of them, that, that's my neck cream, you know? So for years, that's just what I've been using. I just use heavier creams on my neck. And then I'm like, okay, well, if I actually need to buy something, like what am I gonna buy? So I was, that's why I kind of got the Cetaphil, but then I used it on my body. And then Cetaphil has this too, which is a rich hydrating cream for your face. And it's really no product in here, okay? And I'm not knocking it, it's great. But I'm gonna need a jar this big of this for my neck and my chest. Um, because like when I say neck, I put it on my chest too. When I saw this, I was like, ooh, mommy, it's Skin Farming Anti-Wrinkle Neck and Chest Cream. It is big. It is like around 10 bucks. Q10, creatine, provitamin B5, visibly reduced wrinkles in as little as two weeks. It really, really makes my skin feel good. This is where I get like kind of flaky and dry, but then my skin's oily. It's a whole thing. Um, really, really nice. Try this. It does kind of have that faint Nivea scent, but no problem. Just trust me, such a good product. Um, so that's that with the body stuff. I want to get into some, some makeup and stuff. Okay, this eye cream, you guys know the Lumify Eye Drops. This is a product I've used every day for years. Really gets the whites of your eyes nice. I used, but when I saw that they had this, I was like, huh, this is my like daily eye cream now in the morning. I usually would use the Shiseido, you know, morning and night, and I still do sometimes. This is really good because it actually combats puffiness and the circles. So it's the Lumify Eye Illuminations Hydrogel Brightening Eye Cream. And it does all the things that the eye, the eye drops do, but for your under eye area. And it's genius and it's silky and it's beautiful. And it has kind of like these optical brighteners, like kind of a pearly effect. Um, there's some eye creams that, are, that have concealer made into them. And I feel like, well, if you really like to the point where you need a concealer, um, or you're, you're buying an eye cream because it has like a color correction in it, you're probably gonna wear concealer anyways and usually that's just redundant and it's like, was that a waste? I used one recently that gets really good reviews and it gave me really big bumps. Like it gave me a big bump under my eye and I was like, don't know about that. And I stopped and it stopped. So I don't know, just be careful with eye stuff. It's different for everybody. Um, but but yeah okay speaking of under eye correctors i did not use this in the reel the other day but i'm going to insert a little clip of me using it here it is the bright bounce under eye brightening corrector by lottie this is a good brand okay okay they have a blender that's amazing and a great price uh their brushes are like look at the like just the the vibe of the brushes they're beautiful they're so well made and um, this is the only one that I saw, but I'm gonna go back and see if I can find any more. Perfect for like blush, highlight, anything. Um, the Lottie stuff is real good. Oh, and I have a setting spray by them too that I've been using that's a dewy setting spray that doesn't feel like shellac on your skin, you know, but really makes it look nice, okay. Um, okay, this product's real good. So I'm gonna insert me using it here. It is kind of this like peachy product. It's a little, um, it doesn't feel like a dry, you know, cream product that you would typically think like a concealer. It's almost like, I would say a little goopy, which if you guys know, we have discussed, that is the vibe that you want for your under eye. Ugh. As I said, I'm getting older and stuff, fine lines and stuff. The concealers that are liquid, that are even hydrating, that naturally set are going to set and thus settle into your lines. When you move, it's gonna look crepey. I like something that's a little tacky, uh, but that's going to stay put. I think that's going to run off your face. It's what I do all the time and it works. But we need to just kind of get out of that mindset. And I feel like it will make your eye area more comfortable. Um, but this product truly though, I mean, it just makes everything look better. But it does have a lot of like corrective um, tones to it, I guess. I use the light, so they have a darker one too. Um, really good brand. Really good, you know, everything about this brand. And the ingredients, I believe they're they're clean. Usually a product like this, I'm like, oh, I still have to use a concealer. I used this and I was like, I don't really need much concealer, you know? Real good. 
Um, so try this no matter what age you are, but especially if you have got aging eyes or just fine lines or you're kind of hitting those, you know, kind of creeping into the 40s, uh, grab this, okay? And even if you're not, it's gonna look even better on you because you're a baby. Now this, we talked about a little bit on my Instagram and those reels. It's, people always say, what's your favorite drugstore foundation? I've had a lot over the years. I've had different ones that, I've, that I like. I like the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. Um, gosh, there's a, there's a lot of different ones. If I've ever recommended them, they're good, okay? But this is one that I have been using every day in place of like my Armani Luminous Silk or my Lancome or like the things that I really love. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, I'm just going to grab for it when I'm talking about drugstore thing, which I hate to say, that's what, you guys, I'm just being real. That's not what I'm doing, but I'm saying I'm not going to pretend, you know, I'm going to show you what I'm actually using, which is why a lot of times you just see me using the same stuff because I'm not trying to like get jazzy here and make you buy a whole bunch of shit you don't need. The CoverGirl and all, but here, let me show you all this stuff. I'm just kidding, but okay, this is good. The CoverGirl Simply Ageless, CoverGirl and Ole Simply Ageless Hyaluronic Complex Vitamin C, three-in-one foundation, smooths wrinkles, does all the things. Now this is kind of akin to, remember the one that was in like the little compact that looked swirly? That always, I liked the thought of that, but I thought, what's it gonna do for my skin, you know? This is um, non-comedogenic, has no pore clogging ingredients. It is beautiful, it is weightless, it makes your skin look like skin, it is not that dry, like, you know, finish. Beautiful finish, really truly does what it says it's gonna do, has really good ingredients, like I said, the vitamin C and the hyaluronic complex, but it stays put, it really lasts, and the coverage is incredible. I'm using the shade 210, Classic Ivory. Um, going into the summer, I think I'm gonna get the shade darker, but what I did today is I mixed a little drop of this, which is the True, Mac, True Match Living Lotion, the Natural Glow Enhancer, and it looks great. And then I put a few drops here, just like I did in that reel, blended it in. Um, but I think it'll be really nice over, you know, over the, the spring, summer. It's just beautiful. And you all know I'm obsessed with my e.l.f. brow pencils, $3.00. Gosh, all the money we've spent on brow pencils over the years. But this is really cool. It's the semi-permanent brow ink, and I use the soft brown shade. And you guys, it's just perfection. You can fill in a little or a lot, little brow strokes. A lot of times, like a product like this, it's more inky for the brows. I feel looks a little like, woo, like painted on. You know what I mean? And my brows are a little like, woo. Anyways, so I have to be kind of careful when I do fill them in. I want to use a product that is a little softer and more natural because I do want them to look softer around the edges and not such a harsh line. This is so good. And it's no joke with the whole like semi-permanent thing. Like I can wash my face and in the morning, I got some remnants left, not remnants, but like I got some brows left, you know? So it's nice for the, I think, warmer weather. So it really is gonna stay put. But a lot of products for your brows that we've used, you know, we spent all this money on like brow conditioners, brow serums, but then we're using these brow products that are like, so harsh and stiff that they literally rip your brows out and they fall out in the sink when you try to remove it. Do you know what I mean? I, oh my gosh, these new glosses that I didn't talk about in that post. Um, this is what I did today. I paired this, which I'll talk about in a second, with these um, lip pencils. I've talked about these for years. Maybelline has very, very good lip products. It is the Lip Liner in Nude Whisper, which is my all-time fave. That's what I'm using today. And then Dusty Pink is a, no, Dusty Rose is a good one too. It's a little more pink. This one's really good. I didn't use this today. Uh, it's the Gloss Topia Lip Repair Oil. It has like squa squalane and a bunch of stuff. I don't know what it doesn't say, but they're, it's just such like a little chic packaging, real cute, real affordable. They come in a bunch of different colors, but I feel like with lip oils, no matter what color they are, they all just kind of look clear anyways. And I put it on over a lip liner. And so I just always do a clear, but that one is a very good one. It really is moisturizing and not just so thin and runny and disappeary. You know what I mean? It really does look like a beautiful gloss. Um, but today what I did, I wanted a little color and I, oh my gosh, these are amazing. It is the Lifter Glosses Hyaluronic Acid. These are very similar to the I feel like the look of those buxom glosses, it doesn't have like the tingling or anything, but it makes your lips look plump and beautiful. They really do stay on. This one um, is what I'm wearing today. It's this like opal color, has a little bit of a sparkle to it. 
And um, this one called Ice, which doesn't have like a glittery sparkle, but it has like kind of a pearl to it. Really nice for every day. Beautiful over lipsticks. A lot. One more thing, the product that I use on my eyes. This is really nice. I love a stick eyeshadow. I love a cream eyeshadow. And we've kind of talked about that over the last couple years. I've kind of moved away from so many powder products on my eyes. I want something, even if it is a stick that's going to set, I feel like that's better than blending all these powders and rubbing and then leaving in the most like prone to aging area of your face because there's not as many like oil glands and the skin is so thin around your eyes, leaving like a layer of powder that's just gonna suck the life out of your skin all day. We wonder why we have problems here and crepiness and wrinkles and it's like um not that that's bad but i'm saying maybe we could take better care or maybe use different some different products i'm not saying all powders are bad but just think about that okay but um i love just a product that is like an all-in-one like a real good universal color and this one is so beautiful it's called the eyeshadow marker and it's 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 a it's a shadow stick okay but this is the color cold brew and i also got one called pony that's a little cooler taupe this one's a very warm bronze, and I've been using the Bobbi Brown Golden Bronze kind of in this way, just all over, and it is beautiful in perfection, but I like this one because it's a little more like cinnamony. It has a little more of that, I don't want to say oranginess, but you guys know what I mean. A little more of that warm tone that I really kind of like and I think is flattering, especially in like spring and summer. So get the Cold Brew. These are just beautiful and really well made and um, very good quality, okay? I'm trying to think of anything else to share. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys some ideas again, everything that I talked about, um, you're going to see individual links to certain things like the body products, but a lot of the makeup is going to be in that one post below where it's going to show close ups of every product. I'm going to list all the shades. It's just going to be much, just trust me, it's just easier. That's below all the colors. Um, every single thing I showed, I'll link to snatch that crochet dress because I know how it went out of stock before and I've been wanting to post it for months. And I'm like, I mean, I, I'm not, I just hate that sometimes because I really love so many things and then I don't want to post it. And then you guys are so used to being able to like find things that I show and be like, oh, it's real great, but you can't find it. And let me just sling you something similar. Like I want to, well, that's a good one. Okay. So grab that. And I believe it's on sale currently. Um, a few of those other dresses, but, um, oh, and especially this one. This one's so good. And I will say, I am really careful when I do get dressed um, after using the tanner. Like I said, it's, it's dry, but I do use, you know, I wear that robe for a little while. Pulling on a dress like this, I wouldn't just be pulling it on. You might get a little something on it. I, um, it's a tube dress, and I put it on from my feet. I just fold it down, you know, just fold the top down halfway so you're grabbing the inside of the dress pull it up to your waist and then flop it all over, flop it on over. Okay. Um, that way you're not dragging it up your self tanner. So that's what I hate. I don't want to say hate, but I do dislike about self tanner. I hate the, um, having to be careful and ugh, it's a little dirty, but it's worth it because it is really pretty. <laughs> I really do love the way that these tanners look. Um, so you guys, thank you so much for watching. Love y'all so much. I hope you guys liked this one. I'll be back next week for something really fun and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.